everyone and welcome. In this video, we're going to rename an existing virtual machine. As you can see, I already have my vCenter session open. We'll select VMs and templates, and we're going to be working with CentOS clone. As we have been before, I'm going to right click CentOS clone and select the rename function. Give it a new name, click OK, and we're done. And that's pretty easy, as you probably would have guessed. But there's something that is important that we recognize happens when we rename virtual machines. I'm going to go to my storage view and click on the iSCSI data store, which is the one that is containing that VM. We'll click on the files. And the one thing I want you to notice is there is no CentOS 05 folder containing the files for that virtual machine. So although you can rename the virtual machine in inventory, the name of the files stays the same as before. And this is something that we want to avoid if we can, because otherwise we get to that point that if you want to find those files, it's not as simple as looking into the data store for a folder with the same name as the VM. We now have to go back into the properties of the VM, look at the actual name of the files representing the VMDK file, and then go and start hunting those down on the data store. That's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.